I tell you solemnly once again, if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three meet in my name, I shall be there with them. Matthew chapter 18, verses 19 and 20. Grace and peace, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Sunday Reflection. And just these two verses from Matthew's Gospel today is the focus of my very, very brief um, offering. It is said, alone we fall, united we stand. When we are together, when we are together in unity, in, with, as one mind, one heart, one in love, as St. Uh, Paul says in Philippians 2, 1 to 6, we are strong. There is strength there. And where two or three are gathered, Jesus said and promised he too will be there. So we are bound all together by the presence, the wonderful strengthening presence of our Lord. What a wonderful mystery this is and something we should hold on to because as we pray together, as we gather together for Mass at the Eucharist, when the priest and all of us there at the Mass invoke the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit to be there in the profession of faith, in the chanting of the Gloria, in all that we do together, we are strong. We are together with the Lord. And that is something we need to take to heart. Because when we profess as one our faith, when we worship together as one in our faith, we are being the Lord's presence in the world. And individually too, we gain a confidence, we grow, we become strong, and we become confident that the Lord is with us. It's all part of the walk of faith and the way to grow in the Lord. Jesus never did anything on his own. He acted always in accordance with the Father's will, with the Father's presence, even to the very moment of his last breath on earth on the cross. He was still addressing to the Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. This example of never doing it alone, never trying to be independent, never trying to do things without the God, without union with our brothers and sisters in Christ, is a very important spiritual um, factor of our lives. Let us hold on to this, cling to this, and experience the great strength in being one with the Lord and with each other. Grace and peace.